Hi, my name is Hannah and this is my project one. I decided to do um, the painting Girl with a Pearl Earring and this was created by Johannes Vermeer. This is Johannes Vermeer. He was born October, 6, October 1632 and died December 1675. So for my introduction, Johannes Vermeer's painting Girl with a Pearl Earring is a very important piece of art that uses design qualities such as color, balance, and texture to create emotion. This painting can be evaluated with several philosophies and especially expressive theory. So throughout Oliver Muir's work, it has only been found that he uses 20 different pigment shades and the seven most common of those would be lead white, yellow okra, vermilion, matter lake, green earth, raw umber, and ivory or bone black. So oil paint is the medium used within this piece of work. Um, this piece of work was also made on a canvas. Um, this artwork measures at 44.5 centimeters by 39 centimeters or 17.5 inches by 15 inches. The media of this piece of artwork is painting. Um, this piece of artwork is also representational, clearly showing all features on the girl in at least a fair amount of detail. Along with being a painting and representational, this is also considered a 2D piece of artwork. Within the piece of artwork, many elements of design were used, space, balance, and color being the most used elements of design. Space is used by depicting the girl in the center of the painting with nothing else to distract from her. Balance is used by the painting not being symmetrical and rather her hair throwing it off and focusing the eyes to one side rather than the other. And this would be focusing more on the right side than the left. Color is used to emphasize features on the girl, like her headband being blue um, and the white collar she's wearing. Uh, color is also used to make the girl the main focus of the piece of art because the background is completely dark. And this background, while it looks black, was originally thought to be a dark green and time wore the color down. The thing that's depicted in this painting is a girl with a ponytail and a pearl earring, which is on display. The girl does look younger. She has blonde hair, then a ponytail. Um, she's got a blue headband on, a white collar, and it's a brown or yellow jacket or shirt. Um, she also has one pearl earring on display, and she's looking over her shoulder towards the viewer, and she looks. some say that she looks like she's about to say something. The visual qualities used are color, texture, and tone. So, The Girl with the Pearl Earring is a contemporary painting. Um, some do believe that there's a bit of religious aspect to it as well, because the artist believes Vermeer believed he was a strong Christian, and he definitely had lots of religious beliefs. So some believe that that might have leaked into this piece of art, while others don't believe there's any religious aspect to it. This artwork was made in 1665 in France. So during the time of and surrounding 1665 in France, there was a rise of artists and artistic tendencies. And this was in all realms of art, but this was especially focused in the visual arts. Um, and while there's little information about Vermeer and his paintings, the girl with the pearl earring still remains unknown whether or not this canvas was commissioned and if this was commissioned by whom. So it's more likely that this image is a trony, and a trony is a Dutch 17th century description of a head painting, um, but this was this head painting would not be intended as a portrait. Okay, so there's a sense of directional force used within this piece of art. Lines of the girl's clothes and hair point you to directions to look, while the implied lines of the girl's eyes point to the audience while also framing and bringing your eyes to focus on the singular pearl earring in the girl's ear. The emphasis of this painting is also well known as the girl in her earring. This is where your eyes is continually brought to and where you look the longest and most critically. Balance is also an important element used within this painting. Um, this balance is successfully achieved through the use of color, the offset of blue and yellow contrast while the two blues is located um, within the art pulls it all together. These blues are also helping to frame the girl's pearl earring. Um, next onto the background and negative space within this piece is very important and very interesting. 
Um, this is because the entirety of it is black now, or formerly thought to be dark green. And there's a lack of image or color that would take away from the main focal point of the image, which in this case is the girl and her earring. Um, the composition of this piece is also very interesting and important. So, the girl, while being the only thing on the canvas, is off-centered, having majority of her and all her hair on the right side of the image, leaving more negative space on the left side rather than the right, which I previously talked about. But she is located flush to the bottom of the canvas rather than having equal negative space between the top and the bottom of the canvas, which you do commonly see within portraits, but I just found that interesting with space. So within this piece of artwork, there are many points of contrast. One of these points of contrast was created by color, more specifically the color of the girl's blue headband um, with contrast of the yellow brown color of her shirt. So another point of contrast resulting from color would be the girl in the background. So the girl is made up of, for the most part, bright colors, while the background is a single shade of a dark color, black or a dark green, either one. Contrast is also made from the different textures of the background and the girl's shirt. Um, while this piece is not symmetrical in a sense of um, symmetrical, a sense of balance is still achieved. Um, this balance is achieved by the blues being used on the opposite side of the girl, which create a sense of balance without this painting being exactly symmetrical. Um, within this painting, the repetition or motifs are the multiple times blue is used, as well as the texture being similar throughout the girl. And even in some points of the background, the texture looks pretty similar. And even with the reduced amount of repetition, this piece of artwork does not create a sense of chaos, but does create a sense of variety throughout the piece. So pearls are said to symbolize wisdom, purity, generosity, and integrity, and in many cultures, pearls have been prized for their rarity and natural beauty. So in the past, Vermeer had mostly depicted scenes of ordinary life, and this was later called genre painting. And was often, these paintings were often women doing daily tasks. So unlike his other pieces, Girl with the Pearl Earring is not concentrating on a daily task, but is caught in a fleeting moment in which she makes eye contact with the viewer, and some say it appears as if she's going to say something. This portrait is not of a specific person as the Mona Lisa, but it's a trony. Um, this is truly a study in facial expression and costume and showcases Vermeer's technical expertise and interest in representing light. The soft modeling of the subject's face reveals his mastery of using light rather than line to create form, while the reflection, reflection on her lips and on the earring show his concentration for representing the effect of light on different surfaces. The artist Vermeer was not well known outside of his um, native city, which is Delft, during his time and many decades after. So historians have credited the 19th century French critic for reassessing the artist's work, and this eventually led to Vermeer's distinguished reputation. Girl with a Pearl Earring became one of his more famous paintings. Um, it's, this was around the turn of the 21st century, um, with the 1995 expi exhibition at the National Gallery of Art in Washington and the publication of the best-selling novel, Girl with a Pearl Earring by Tracy Chevalier. Where Vermeer um, and created this painting to represent a type of person, the novel fashioned the painting to represent a housemaid named Greet, who works in the Vermeer's home and becomes his paint mixer. This gave the people who have read the book or watched the adapted movie um, a specific con connection to a person when looking at the painting instead of it merely representing a type as the artist had intended. So I do actually agree with the meaning thought to be behind this piece of artwork. I find it very interesting that there was like a book written that differed from what we believe the artist meant to do. So for judgment, we have formal theory and this piece of art includes elements of design, unity and wholeness, variety, pleasure, and it's a masterpiece. Contextual theory, this goes along with cultural context of France during this time period. It serves the interests of the people at the time and within the 1660s. Expressive theory, this piece can affect emotions and feelings as well as evoking these. Um, it communicates ideas and concepts and its depth and has intensity. So I believe that the best way to evaluate this piece would be expressive theory. And I believe this to be true because expressive theory, this 
piece of art evokes emotion from many viewers and for the other two to be the best choice um, the viewers would have to have a knowledge of the cultural context of the 1665 when the painting was made and this is not common knowledge so I believe that expressive theory would be the best choice for this type of evaluating. So in conclusion, Johannes Vermeer's painting Girl with a Pearl Earring is a very important piece of art that uses design qualities such as color, balance, and texture to create, to create emotion. This painting can be evaluated with several philosophies, especially expressive theory. Overall, many pieces of design qualities and design principles are used in this piece of artwork, some being space, balance, color, and contrast. There are also things like directional force, balance, colors, and contrast that help to create this painting. For this painting, I believe it would be best to use expressive theory to evaluate it for many reasons that were previously stated, but one being that emotion would be the best way to evoke, to affect the majority of viewers. And these are my citations. These are like, the first three are just sites that I used that were not scholarly technically, and then I have my images cited and my scholarly source that I used.